In this video, I want to talk to you about how you can learn a life lesson from everybody that you come across, however briefly. The fact is we can learn something of value from everybody around us if we're looking. Now, I understand that doing this channel, you would think I'm an outgoing kind of guy, but it couldn't be further from the truth. And I only have to go back to when I was a teen. I had this conversation with a friend of mine, probably three or four years ago, and it relates to a time back in 1977, I would have been 17 at the time, when we were in a group of people and I didn't really know all of them. I knew a couple, but I didn't feel comfortable. I was back here, if you like. I was well away from the group and I didn't really take part in the conversation that was going on, but I was just listening. And the funny thing is, she said to me that at the time, she thought I was aloof, that I was in a way better than all of them, if that was her opinion. And it's funny, you know, because I can remember that day as clearly now as I did then. And I can remember how shy I felt and how I wasn't part of the gang. Do you know where I'm coming from? And that was something that for me was a real hard thing to equate with. And as years have gone by, things haven't really changed. Even today, if I'm in a group of people that I don't really know, I won't be one of those pushing forward my opinions and that. It's just not the way that I am, I suppose. And it's probably even the same in groups of people where I do know everyone. It's really odd. It's really odd, I know. But one of the things that I've found is that over the years, I've become a people watcher. And it's amazing what you see around you if you are a people watcher. I've found some of the things that I've seen to be really amazing. When I was young, my mum used to say, treat everyone as you want to be treated. And I think that's a good way to go. However, have you ever been in a restaurant and watch someone get shirty with a waiter and have a lot to say with someone, perhaps behind a counter and be really rude? I think that tells you a lot about people. You don't even have to know them, but within seconds you get a, an idea of what that person is like. I've got a brother-in-law who is completely different. He's one of those people that you can go out, say you're in a pub and we're sat by the bar he can talk to the next person, start a conversation, and you would think they'd been mates for 20 years. And he's so at ease doing it. And it must be something in his family's makeup because he has a sister who I've always thought is lovely. She's really, really nice. And she comes across as a nice person. But it came to a point a few years back when... We were in a group of people in a room and she didn't know anybody in the room when she came into the room. And I watched her and she made a point of speaking to every single person in that room, one by one, finding out their name, finding out things about them and just generally finding a way to communicate in and show that she had something in common and she went from one person to the next, to the next, to the next. It probably noticed more to me because she was meeting my wife for the first time. And my wife said to me how at ease she felt when she was talking to her. I don't know if that's something you learn or you're born with. I think you can learn that. And I think it can make a whole heap of difference in your life if you're that way inclined. And it's something that I've tried to do over the years. And with practice, I've got a little better at doing it. Doesn't mean to say I'm comfortable doing it, but I have got better. And when you look around you, it's very easy to see, even with people that you've met briefly, how they are with other people. You, you see 
kindness more often than not. However, you do come across people who look down on you and talk to you as though you're nobody and they're up there. And I, I kind of think that sometimes that comes down to a low self-image of themselves. And another one that strikes me with that about the low self-image is when you've got someone who, when you're amongst a group of people, likes to take the mickey out of one person in that group. And it's as though they're trying to elevate themselves by putting somebody else down. And what it seems to do is completely the opposite, I think, because I re respect that person less than I would do because of the way they've behaved. And it's funny that you can look around as you're going through your day and see this sort of thing happening so often. Have you ever walked through a street and seen a homeless person sat on the curb and people walking by as though they know one? And have you also seen a homeless person sitting on the curb with someone sitting next to him, giving him a drink or giving her a drink and just chatting to them? It's those sorts of people that you kind of want in your life. And I think there's so much you can learn if you just watch. If you look at the people around you, the people that you know really well, you can tell the kind of person they are. Now, I'm not saying this to say that I'm something special and I know all the answers because I don't. <laughs> I'm the person that's kind of shy. I'm the one that is steps back a bit. I'm the one that takes in what's going around me. I would love to be different, but I'm not. But what you can do and what I try to do is to break out of my comfort zone a bit to be the first to say hello, to be the first to shake hands with someone and you've met them for the first time, to look into their eyes and to try and build a bridge, if you like, to become a friend. I think that's what we really need to do in our lives because as you look around you, you will see that there are so many people who aren't trying to do that. They're trying to push their self forward. And they're not necessarily doing it in a way that would make you like them. You see it at work. Certainly, I can remember seeing it at work with middle management who would take your idea, pass it on and take the credit for it. I've certainly seen that. And it's funny how those people are so disliked by the people around them. In this world, we're I suppose, looking to live a good life. Because at the end of the day, we're here for such a short time. But if you can look around you and watch other people and how they interact with people, you can learn so much. You can find out so much about the person and you can help yourself to learn some good habits. And the great thing is that when you watch people, you always learn something. You can learn something that's going to help you along the way by taking on part of that example that you saw. Or you can really learn from people who make you go, I don't want to be anything like that. If you've come across anyone that you've spotted, it doesn't need to be anybody that you know well, but if you've seen a stranger show an example of kindness to somebody else and it struck a chord with you give us a comment down below let us know about that also if you've seen someone berate somebody around you and make you feel like that's someone i'd never want to be same again let us know down below if this kind of video is something that you like then please check out further videos because I like to talk about the nice things in life, if you like, and to give you a bit of advice and encouragement. Now, I don't say that as though I'm some kind of guru, because I'm not. I'm just talking about things I've, I've spotted and learned along the way. So, when you go out next, just have a good look around you and watch how people go on and how people behave. It's quite eye-opening, you know. 
and I'll see you next time.